I've been diagnosed four times, and it began in 2003, um, with my latest relapse being in 2012, when they found another tumor, and I had to get surgery, and I had to get 22 months of chemotherapy, and six months of radiation um, to try to get rid of the tumor. But they weren't able to get rid of the entire tumor, so I still live with the tumor. English teacher Miss Sands fights every day for her students to succeed. This desire comes from a personal 13-year battle with cancer. When the doctor came in and said that I had cancer, I thought he was lying, and so I wanted a second opinion. And then when I went to another oncologist and they were like, no, you really have cancer, I was like, why are you guys lying to me? Like, that's not cool. And so I got a third opinion, and then finally with a third opinion, I had to like accept the fact that like I really did have cancer. After being diagnosed, her perspective on life changed significantly. She now looks at things from a more optimistic view. I don't take things for granted anymore, and I don't sweat the small stuff. Like every day that I wake up, I'm like I appreciate the fact that I'm awake and I like I have another day to live, um, because lots of people aren't as lucky as myself. And so if I'm feeling great that morning, I just do whatever I want because life is short and you never know when it's going to go away. As an attempt to maintain an active lifestyle, it is only natural that somebody battling a long-term illness would take up long-distance running, especially races that support cancer awareness. I began running when I, in 2006 um, to just like raise awareness for cancer. I did it with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and my first race was actually out in San Diego, California. Just because you have cancer doesn't mean like the world is going to end. You can, you can still live your life, you can still have a good time, you can still just be you, but it's just, it's how you live your life, it's how you view your life that makes the difference. And I think that, if nothing else, like I want people to know that like there is life beyond your diagnosis and there's so much to be like, to happy about and thankful for and just live your life and smile and it's like my doctor says, it's mind over matter. The more you think, that you're going to make it and the more positive you are, then the chances of you surviving are a lot higher. Courage, determination, and a positive attitude have helped Miss Sands be stronger than cancer. Reporting for Riptide, I'm Bernadette Cruz.